I'm hearing all these amazing things about the show. What was the seed that you said, okay, we're going to do this? What brought that on? You know, we had written the memoir and it hadn't yet come out. And Tegan sent the manuscript to our friend Clea Duvall and let her read it. And she called Tegan and said, I just really believe that this could be a TV show. I really have a vision for it. And we started developing the show. It just it kind of was as easy as that. I mean, we've been friends with Clea for a long time. So she really understood, you know, the characters and the way that the story could be shaded in um, by telling the story of all the other people in our world. Um, yeah. So it just it, it came together real fast. Three years. I mean, obviously, this story has lots of messages. But what would be the most important? important message you want young people to get out there, especially today. I mean, look, we're just hoping that people watch the show and see a little of themselves in it. And, you know, I think that adolescence and being a teenager is hard, but the show expands that universe to include all the adults. And I think it shows that there are more things in common between young people and older people. I think often we write off young people. We're like, oh, they're they're temperamental or they're just, they're, they're teenagers. But I think teenagers have so much depth. They have so much curiosity and, um, and I think the show really Really takes care of all those feelings and I, you know I think people who love the 90s will love the show people who love music will love the show I think queer people are obviously gonna resonate um, but I don't know I, I, I you'd be surprised we're in a band that that really connects with people all over the world and all different ages and types of people and I think this show has that kind of essence it's a show that you can watch and just it taps into universal emotions you know the casting process is very important so talk about the girls that are playing, you guys. I mean, that had to be a big journey for you. How did you approach that? We were really nervous about finding twins to play us. It, we thought it would for sure be the most challenging part. It was the easiest casting. We are on TikTok. Tegan sent me a TikTok one day. We weren't even in casting yet. We were just, we had we were developing the show. And Tegan sent me a, a TikTok of, of Rayleigh, who actually plays Tegan on the show. And she said, this girl is hilarious. They could, this, her and her sister could totally play us. And that is who ended up playing us. So Rayleigh and Season were... They were so compelling, so watchable, so charismatic. They were, they were, they reminded us of us when we were that age. They're not quite sure what it is that's magnetizing people to them. And I feel like we've given them an opportunity. I mean, they've given us a huge opportunity to tell a story, but we've given them an opportunity to sort of like direct that charisma into something. I think they're going to be huge. I think they're going to be superstars. I think you're right. Yeah. I agree. I, there was just something about them when I saw them on TikTok that just made me want to watch them. And I think based on the reviews of the show so far, it's clear that we were right. Like, there is something about them that you just enjoy watching them. They have that face and that essence. And I think they just did an amazing job of telling a coming-of-age of story. And I just think they killed it. But social media before you leave? Tegan and Sarah. Yeah, yep. We share everything, even our social media. We don't get our own social media. That's an impactful show. What is it that was important for you guys when you were doing this show that you needed to bring across to the audience? Um, I mean, a big thing for me is just that I want the audience to see themselves on screen um, and not feel so alone. You know, when I was um, 16, uh, 15, you know, finding out myself, I didn't have that representation on screen. And so it's just like, I just really hope that the audience um, sees themselves and can not be alone because that really makes a huge difference. It was really important to, to kind of uh, relay that when you're young and you're, you're in your teens, it's really hard to find yourself while, especially while someone else is doing it right next to you. Uh, I think a lot of people assume that there's this like super close friendship with them, but I think the show relays that that's not always true. And it can be hard finding yourself whether, whether you have someone who's doing it right next to you. Um, so I, I really hope that that was relayed in the show. Um, I think that, I think, I, I also hope that people are just able to relate to a character, I think that's going to be really important for them to feel seen on screen. Describe this show in two words. How would you describe it, each one of you? I would say relatable and unique. <laughs> I would I would describe it as important and uh, I would also say relatable. And social media before you leave so fans can find you? Yeah, my social media is uh, Rayleigh Gilliland. And mine is just season. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for fun tonight.